Hey guys, what's up? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Jamie V. Thanks for stopping by. So in today's video, in today's video, we are doing something a little bit crazy. A little bit fun, fantastic, if you will. A little makeup challenge. If you're around the beauty community on TikTok, on YouTube, etc., you have seen Meredith uh, Duxbury, I think her name is. She is the foundation girl. That's what I call her. Uh, I'm pretty sure she's a makeup artist and a really decent human, uh, but I call her the foundation girl. So basically what she does, um, and I'll pull out a little clip for you. I'm going to go ahead and play this clip for you. So you could see she covers her face and foundation, covers it, and then uses like her hands to rub it in and then drips more and just really, really goes ham. Uh, I am not the first person to do this, uh, obviously. Um, I know Laura Lee has, Snitchery has, and then I know there's been a couple other people and I don't really know because I don't watch a lot of people on YouTube. But basically what this girl does is this crazy, unique, different way of applying foundation. And then I watched Laura Lee's video because I'm actually not subscribed or following Meredith on any social media. So I found her through Laura Lee. This girl went in December from 1 million followers on TikTok to like 7 point something right now. And I'm just like, hey, okay, good job, good job. But then I watched the foundation and I'm like, ooh, what? So if you're excited and wondering how this is going to work out with my dry skin, then go ahead and keep watching. So I saw Laura Lee do this and she said that the wear was pretty good. She had some creasing, blase blase, but she seemed to really like it and a lot of people have seemed to really like it. And I'm just like, mm, my dry skin could never. What this girl does, Meredith, is she, I keep calling her this girl and I feel like that's kind of rude. What Meredith does is she puts all kinds of foundation on her hand. She applies it with the end of a makeup brush, like the tail, and then she just goes ham rubbing it into her face. So basically that's what we're doing today. We're gonna try it out. We're gonna see, we're gonna see how it works. I might look good. You never know, I might look dead that could happen too I did not wear any earrings or any kind of jewelry that way I could not you know make it a mess I didn't do my brows yet either because I'm supposed to be rubbing so I am you know I'm excited I haven't done a makeup challenge in like forever so I'm here for it I will also be <laughs> trying out the new Lunar Beauty lashes for you guys today i figured why not i don't want to do like a whole review on just lashes because i feel like that's kind of weird to do like a whole 12 15 minute video going look at this lash look at this lash i feel like i can tell you how i like them how they move but lashes are very specific to certain people like you like what you like so i can give you the deets on how they feel and how they maneuver but when it comes to lashes you got to kind of just you know, do your own thing. So I'm going to first prep the skin because on her things, her TikToks, Meredith does not show that she preps her skin, but looking at how her skin glows and all of the dewiness and just perfection that comes off of her skin, I feel like she definitely does um, prep her skin. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna do it. And we're gonna do it to like a hundred. So I'm putting like moisturizing serum on. Because like I said, I have, if you are not new to my channel, then you know, you know, you know. my skin is dry. If I'm going to do this, I want to do it the right way. So I'm putting on the Sky, Sand and Sky Tasmanian Spring Water Splash Serum. We're doing it. And I'm also going in with the Sand and Sky Tasmanian water, Spring Water Hydration Boost Cream. I only use these when I'm having super dry days. They're really, really expensive from Ulta is where I got them. But when I tell you the hydration it provides my skin is so real. So I figured it would be a good time to use them under this. Should probably stop drinking Red Bulls and coffee. That would probably help my skin out a lot. Yeah, yeah. I also am prepared with a wet cloth for my hands because I know this is about to get so bad. Uh, I do know that Meredith on her TikToks puts a headband on in like every single video, even when her hair is up. And I don't think that is because it's a style choice. I think she does it to protect her hair. So we're gonna do the same. We're, we're the same, okay? because I don't want more than I need to to get 
where I don't need it to. I just feel like this is such an excessive amount of foundation and I just wonder like does she do it for views or is this like legitimately something that she wears out in public? Like does she actually use this do you know what I mean because for me I'm wondering like okay that's nice and it'll be really nice on like photos I'm going in with my primer by the way really nice on photos it'd be super awesome like on a movie or on YouTube because it really is like studio kind of when you're taking photos and stuff and professional photos and doing professional videos you put a lot on like when you guys see me on camera putting stuff on it is nowhere near the amount that you think I'm putting. Like I'm putting a lot on so it comes out because these lights wash me out like no other. Like I am tanner than I look on this camera. So I just like, where is she going? Do you know what I mean? If she, Meredith, if you're ever going to see this, I doubt it because you're super, you know, <laughs> 7 million followers famous, but I just need answers. Like, do you actually wear this out in public? How does it wear throughout the day? Those kind of things. Because I just feel like, oh my gosh, I feel like my skin would be so bad, so dry. So we're gonna just, we're gonna go right in. I'm gonna take a Morphe brush because they're perfectly rounded at the end and not like tapered or anything. And we're gonna go in. I'm using the Huda Beauty, the new um, Luminous, the Faux Filter Luminous Matte. And I'm also going in with the Milk Makeup Blur Liquid. They're both very full coverage items, but this one is a little bit dark for me, so I want to lighten it up. And also this one does that cool drippy effect, so I can, you know, be like super cool. Okay, that was so fetch. <laughs> All right, so this is going to be so much foundation. All right, I'm like really going to go like all in. Okay, that seems like that's gonna be more than enough. I hope to goodness that's enough. Oh my God, it's running down my hand. And then we're just gonna lighten it up with the milk makeup. I know Laura Lee used like uh, NYX and KVD and I just don't have any of those, so. I'm doing my own thing. It's a little light. It's a little, this'll do. This, this is gonna do. So she just cakes it, oh my God, on her face all over her face so down her nose on her forehead i don't i don't know man i feel like maybe this is actually not a bad thing for dry skin because like my skin will absorb this like it's, no, it's nobody's business all right so i'm gonna try to take that extra on my hand because i don't want to waste any of it this is a little bit it's a little bit yellow a little bit orange for me so i'm gonna wipe my hand <laughs> look how much i still have on my hand that i just couldn't put any more on my face okay so she literally uses nothing. She goes in with her hands. I'm gonna take my ring off because I don't wanna get foundation in the crevices of it, okay? Okay. Oh my God. Oh my God, okay. This takes me back to the um, only using my hands challenge. And she does it on her eyes too. So that's what we're, and she does it over her lips too. This is definitely not my color and it is not soaking in. I think I may have moisturized too much because in doing so, it's like just sitting on my skin. <laughs> Where's my nose ring? It's gone. It actually looks so streaky, so streaky. So I'm gonna have to pull this back because I feel like, ah, I knew it. Oh my gosh, okay. My baby hairs are about to get foundation. So I think that that's, that's as good as we're gonna get because <laughs> I just feel like <laughs> I have um, <laughs> done as much as I can. <laughs> so I'm gonna go through with a beauty blender and just pat it because I do see some like finger marks that I don't really like. Definitely not my shade. Definitely not, we'll fix it, it'll be fine. Again, I'm gonna have to mask for days. Like, <laughs> any mask. <laughs> I own is gonna have to go on my face because it's just like look at my lips not only does she do that okay you're not doing the rules Jamie but then she goes back in and she drips more down her face <laughs> I just dropped that on my shirt not on my shirt at least you can't see it right 
Yeah, you can't see it because it's down here. I'm not gonna go back in with my fingers. I'm gonna use the brush this time because on some of them, she does use the beauty blender after she does the drip. And I think what that does is that really just seals and gets rid of the streakiness of her hands. I think that's a very good idea when it comes to using your hands. Because I mean, let's face it, when we were all younger, we used our hands, okay? There was no beauty blenders. If you have very acne prone skin, I 110% do not recommend doing something like this. I don't get breakouts like that. I will say that when it comes to that situation on my skin, it's not really a big deal. So I'm lucky in that aspect. We're gonna move on, we're gonna move. I think I need to set my face though. So I'm gonna set my face. No, I can't set my face yet, I have to do my concealer. All right, so since I don't really see her go in with concealer, I'm gonna go in with concealer and I'm just gonna do like just a little bit and I'm also using the Fenty concealer. So I just did like a little recording, like few seconds of footage on my phone in like selfie mode because I'm going to put it here on the video, maybe here to the side, so you guys can actually see what it looks like. I know that sometimes my videos, like the lighting and stuff can really trick you guys to think that it's smoother than it is. And I also know that Beautiful Meredith uses smooth mode or beauty mode on TikTok because I've seen where she'll move and you can see the texture. So I just, I want it to be as honest as possible because I would never recommend this to you guys if it's <laughs> trash. And looking in the film or looking in the phone versus looking on my viewfinder, it was it's horrendous. Like you can see all of my texture, especially where my eczema is, but I knew that was gonna be a problem. So that's not my biggest concern. My biggest concern is all of the texture coming through on the sides of my cheeks. So I did put that on there just so you guys can get a real life, like 100% honest look of what it looks like. Now we're gonna go in with powder and we're gonna just set this sucker. If you're actually going to wear this, and like I said, I would only recommend wearing something like this for like a photo shoot or something. Like this is insane. My lips are so sticky from foundation, it's gross. Going in with the cetacean, cetacean, what is that word? And I'm using the Huda Beauty setting powder. That's how much foundation I have on. My neck is creasing. It's still creasing on my eyelids. Like on camera, it does look really good. I will not lie. Like. It looks so good. Make sure you guys let me know down below like how it looks on camera to you guys. Like up in person, no. On camera, in a photo, I'm probably about to look real bomb. Real bomb. Also, if you hear that like airy thing, that's my computer, my Mac. It's over here, you know, about to take off. So ignore it. No, it's just being stupid. All right, so just ignore that because that is obviously not going to go away for a minute or two. I needed to have it up here because I was trying to do something and now it's over here acting a straight up full. Okay, so I'm going into the Private Island Bronzer by Fenty. Basically, I'm just going to do my face makeup as usual. I think my eye is going to be something like very, very basic just because like my focus was around obviously this makeup challenge and I'm going to wear this for a little while and as I usually do I will go ahead and update you guys once this video is up and uploaded uh check down in the comments because I usually pin my update on how it wore and what I liked or disliked about it so I'm just trying like putting bronzer on right now is an ultimate task I don't know why but it seems like I'm having some serious difficulties applying bronzer over this thick foundation. Like right here, my hairline too. So she puts blush not only like on her cheeks, but she also puts blush on her nose. And I'm going in with the Matrick, Matrick? Oh my God, the Mac and Patrick Star Blush. So I'm going to apply, she does do quite a bit of blush which I don't mind because if you guys know me, you know I love blush. So I'm gonna go ahead and <laughs> put her on there. So she goes like on the tip of her nose where her highlighter goes. And that's it, she does this cute little nose scrunch. I can't do it, her nose is so stinking cute when she does it. People were being really nasty to her about the nose scrunch and I'm over here like, I wish I could get the nose scrunch. Like that's so cute, shut up, haters. So I'm gonna go in with the Jaclyn highlighter and this is flurries oh yes every time i am obsessed with this highlighter if you guys have not seen my review 
you gotta check it out. I'll go ahead and link it in the above here, in the above, above here for you to check out. I am obsessed with this highlighter. It's so, 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 so pretty. All right, let's do these brows because these brows are looking hella whack. So I use the brow freeze basically to set in place or prep and prime my brows because I've learned that just the brow gel for me or the brow freeze for me, it just doesn't do what I need it to do. I also use it as a brow gel for when I'm done do filling my brows in. I hate doing my brows over foundation. This is making my brows look awfully light, lighter than usual. So next time I should probably do my brows first and just go around it or wipe it off because this is really giving me a lot of trouble. 2,000 years later. It's, it still looks really nice on camera. Like I don't know how the brows look, but everything else looks really nice on camera. So I'm going to go in with the leftover setting powder I have and just set my eye powder for my brows with that. And I'm just going in with a super easy palette. It's the KKW Beauty. This is just her little simple eyeshadow palette. I'm just going to go in with a super easy look. I'm going in with this taupey brown right here. Excuse the banging. My kids apparently are having a whole fiat festival downstairs and I'm just going to cover part of the lid and blend it out. So I'm going to go in with this shimmer right here and just pop that on the lid where I do not have the darker color placed. This is just such a cute little palette to do like a perfect little nude look. I didn't want to go too crazy with the eyes. Now she does go like super full glam with her eyes. We're not gonna do that. We're gonna we're gonna calm down. I'm just putting this in my under eye. All right, I'm gonna go into my inner corner with slurries like I put on my nose. I hate this blush on my nose. Can we talk about that? All right, so I'm gonna go into my bottom lashes with my legit lash legit lashes by Huda, and I'm gonna do just a quick one layer. So for my lips, I'm going in Knock on Wood, and this is from Dosa Colors. Kinda wish I would have wiped the foundation off, just because it is coming off a little bit lighter than it actually is. Just a smidge, not a big deal. Um, so we're gonna go into lashes. So these are the Lunar Beauty Lashes. These are Manny MUA's new lashes that he recently launched. I've had them since he launched them. Um, and I just haven't, I was like, how am I going to do this? Like, should I do a full review? No, probably not. Like, it'd be weird to do a full review on lashes. So I've decided to just go ahead and give you guys a quick review while I put them on. Like I said, I can kind of tell you how they feel, how they work. But I don't want to do a whole 15 minute video just telling you these are good or these are bad. You know what I mean? Like either you buy them or you don't kind of thing. Lashes are so weird for me. So these are faux mink lashes and they are in four different styles. They are $15 a piece. I believe I paid $45 for the bundle though. I think I got like a little discount for getting all four. So we're gonna open her up. So they came in individual boxes, which by the way guys, like the boxes are to die for, okay? <laughs> Just to die for. I'm trying to find which ones. Okay, on the back. Stella, Nova. Give them to me. Luna. They look so good. Like, even when I'm done with them, I'm going to keep them for my lashes because look at these. Look at the, like, the detail in this lash box is just so freaking stunning. I cannot. Like, I am done. I'm dying right now. This is so cute and it has like a little magnet like oh so like I just couldn't throw this away even if I wanted to I'll probably take it out and like either put like lashes in it because I don't throw my lashes away after one use or I will um put something else in it I don't know but when I get my big thing my big thing that's gonna go behind me I'm gonna I'm gonna put these up because these are so gorgeous so this is the Luna lash and I believe this is the second to smallest pair so I don't remember the actual size guide they all seem pretty full 
except for the one pair Stella and I'll show you that they're like little baby lashes um, so this is Aries this is super long but they are definitely not as thick as the Luna ones they're much longer though they curve up more but they're not as thick so they look like like a longer wispy where if you look here the lunar ones look like they've been doubled up so they're the um, lashes itself are pretty dark like they're definitely for the dramatics I love these I love these but they definitely would not be my everyday because they're just like super super big I spoke too soon so Nova is like a bitch please move and let me shine like these are so super super like hey hey look at my lashes i love these so these taper out so they get they go from small to big which i absolutely love because then i can trim them to my beautiful smaller eyes um but these are definitely super full and they look like they have several layers so they're going to be like these are going to be pretty heavy so i would recommend that you may not want to start with these if you don't really use lashes very often but the band looks thick and like in a good way thick. then you have stella which are the smaller more dainty just beautiful i love the packaging i love the packaging um they're just more dainty and more natural and wispy so these are definitely going to be the go-to for somebody who is more new at applying lashes and needs like a little bit more assistance you know what i mean because they're the thinner the band the easier they are to work with so we're gonna go in with a luna they are a little bit tapered as well just a little bit from what i'm seeing i'm not gonna trim them because i don't think i'm gonna have to trim them like it went right to where my natural lashes stop so i'm excited about that okay okay so they are very easy to maneuver which is nice because most of the time when you get a faux mink lash with a thicker band they are they can be kind of testy so that actually popped on very nice very fast wow that looks stunning and I didn't even have to clip it so see how it stops here most of the time it'll come over here and poke me in the eye so the fact that it stops right there is perfect because it stops right on my natural lash line. I'm so excited. Oh, hello, big eyes. Like big eyes in a good way. Hello. So now I'm going to go in, obviously, with my mascara and give them a little zhuzh to make sure they're all stuck together and happily mating with my natural lashes. That was weird. Uh, I don't think lashes mate, but... You get my point, okay? So we're going to jump right into my final thoughts on everything. What do I think about this makeup look? Okay, so first things first. I think, honestly, on camera, studio lighting, professional photos, professional videos, this is going to be amazing. Like, when I look at that viewfinder, I'm just like, yes! When I look at this mirror, I'm like, oh my heaven no so I put that video in the beginning when I was first putting it on and it has even more so creased under my eye creased around here creased in here creased around my nose and I don't even get creases around my nose so I got I have a crap ton of creasing on my eye which usually if I put my primer on and I set it I'm fine but I think because there was so much foundation underneath all of that I have a lot of texture issues going on right here. I don't think that this is for an everyday thing. If you're doing this every day, you probably should not be. It's probably not the best idea for your skin anyways. Also, my eyebrows look shiny and sweaty because I had to literally dig into the foundation to get the color to set on my eyes and they look like gray. They look like charcoal in my mirror. So I just think it's fun, it's cute, it's for TikTok. Do not apply this much makeup to your skin every day on a regular basis because I think that if you come in contact with anything, it's just going to transfer and spread everywhere. It's going to irritate your skin. It's going to look like you, you cake face. It looks like cake face. We have progressed 
from Cake Face and we're not gonna go back. So this is a no. I think Meredith is beautiful. I think she does beautiful makeup. I just don't think that this is something she does every day for normal, for real. I don't think so. I think that if she's modeling or whatever it is she does, whether it be YouTube or TikTok, sure. Is she wearing this on a regular Tuesday going to the shopping center? I don't think so. So moving on to the next thing I want to give you my final thoughts on, the Lunar Beauty Lashes. Guys, I don't, like, they're so stunning. They're so, I'm so excited to try the other ones. These are the second biggest ones I think they are. Don't really know I just know the Stella ones are the more natural ones so if you want to try the brands they're only $15 and he definitely has different sizes for you these smaller ones the Stella lashes are definitely gonna be for a beginner if you're looking for something super cute again these are so cute Manny like I literally the you guys you know how I feel about Lunar Beauty I do love the brand I mainly not only love the brand for the products, but I also love the brand because he puts so much love and so much effort into these. It just blows me the freak away. It just blows me away. So that is it for today's video, guys. I hope you liked it. Let me know down below what you think about this foundation hack. What do you think about the Lunar Beauty lashes? Cause I know they look good. I know they do, my foundation doesn't, but the lashes do. So let me know if you guys have bought them or if you're planning on buying them. And just make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. Make sure you are subscribed to my channel. I do six videos every single week and you do not want to miss out on those. And as always guys, I will see you on the next one. Bye.